everybody, we're back to an episode from JK with the AK. Guys, this is going to be a little short video, but this is a video which I need to make because I want to be there for the culling news, because this is big news and a lot of my friends have gone off the culling. I haven't, I still love it, but this could bring a lot of players back because we want to keep this from dying off. So guys, this is the huge um, leaderboard. PC major update coming out on the Xbox One. It's already out now released on the uh, PC and at the time of recording this video it's not out but in the next couple of days it should be out for the Xbox One. Right, these are the um, PC patch notes. All of this have come to Xbox One. So yeah, let's get into it. Greetings contestants from new match events to new perks. This is one of the biggest updates ever. The culling always been a savage competition and we can't wait to see what which one of you talented contestants rises to the very top of the leaderboard? Cull for glory. PC servers will be down. That's now over. Um, we're currently preparing a patch for Xbox One certification and it will be announced, which I've just told you. So this is what's coming out on the Xbox One and I think this is going to be brilliant. So new ranked leaderboard. So ranked games are now going to be a thing. Um, every time you have a, a match... You'll now earn a match score based on your position. So if you're first, second, third, fourth. How many kills you get and time that you stay alive. And also your best 10 matches in the season of ranked scores are all added together and combined to provide a singular season score. So if you win every single game and kill everyone in a game by ten, in 10 games in a row, you're going to be the best player in the world. Um, yeah. So depending on your season score, you may find yourself in one of five ranks, bronze, silver, gold, platinum or diamond. The top ten players in each rank are displayed for all to see, which is awesome. New cosmetics. Now, I will just tell you, I am over the moon to have new cosmetics because I love cosmetics and making my character look like other people and stuff like that. So two all-new outfits for male and female contestants with over 150 varieties of track tops, track shorts, turtlenecks and Oxford shorts. Incredible. Eight new victory celebration animations. Now, I don't even get to use my own very much because I don't win that much. But I'm sure a lot of you awesome players are going to like that feature. Three new sets of weapon skins. You're going to get 11 new skins for the pitchfork. 11 new skins for the camp hatcher and the hammer. Which is good. Now, this is the thing which could bring a few more players back to give it another go. New match events. Blood Moon. The sky takes a crimson cast. So the sky will go bright red. For a brief time. And everyone's location will be revealed with a spooky red highlight. So just imagine you're on COD. And you get a UAV or something. I can't remember what it's called. But you you have like a colourful aura around your body. And you can see them through walls and stuff. So you're going to show up red. So you can't hide. There's nowhere to run. No one's safe in Blood Moon pretty much. So that's going to really throw a spanner in the works. Especially though camp the campers are not going to be able to camp. The next one. Boombox. A booming red subwoofer crate appears in the centre of the arena. In order to open this funky crate, you'll need to drop the beat with a bang. So basically, this big boom box will be dropped in the arena centre, I'm guessing. And a load of drones deliver explosive barrels all around the area and you have to blow them up or something. Or you can craft explosives and chuck explosives at it and stuff. That's cool. There's going to be new perks. Each perk category receives a new side slash down side perk with the benefit outweigh the risk interesting tight grip your ranged weapons cannot be disarmed that's a big one but your movement speed is reduced by five percent so are you really gonna want to just hold the guns on and stuff out like a bow if someone's right next to you i'm not sure that's an interesting one tanky incoming melee damage is reduced by 10 percent, but range damage is increased on pc that could be a problem but on xbox one no, not many people use bows, really. So that could be a good perk. Jogger. Movement speed will, with fists are equipped. Increased by 10%. But all income and damage increased by 10 So being quicker than everyone else, but taking more damage than everyone else. Interesting. I'm going to give that a go, actually, the Jogger. Berserker. All damage dealt increased by 10%, but player loses the benefit of natural cannibalism. No HP restored when killing an opponent. Okay, that's interesting. Changes and bug fixes. So it's fixed several crash bugs resulted in poor application. Sprinting costs more stamina. That's going to go back to old times and I'm very happy with that. Um, and they've got personal comments. We dialed stamina costs way back in the last patch. And many of you felt that it 
yeah, it ruined it. So it's going to be more balanced. So I'm looking forward to that. Added a HUD icon to indicate when the player is crouching, walking, and sprinting. Um, official culling uniform items now appear in default clothing instead of special. Okay, fair enough. Um, increased brighten the blue outline for picking up steel coal trucks, muscle milk, and hammer. Interesting. Um, fix several fatal errors. That's to the PC, so it's not going to affect you. Fix the bug where the brass knuckles were using a longer shove animation than they should have. Um, fix the bug that prevented the kill notification. Um, there's a few there which aren't that much better. In addition to the bug, several additional fixes from the last Xbox patch have been brought over to PC, so that's good as well. So now guys, that is the To Color Leaderboard PC update. Which is now out, but it's now coming out to Xbox One in the next few days. Leave a like if you're excited. Comment down below your gamer tags. I've been playing with a lot of subscribers lately. So please do tell me your gamer tag. And I will pick some of you at random and play some doubles with you. Because I love playing and playing with the community. And yeah, practicing as well. And I want to get in that diamond rank. Anyway guys. Hope you're having a good day. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Tell friends about the channel. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.